What's up guys, it's good looking boy. I wanted to do a test, benchmark test on GTX 67, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, 970 mobile. I got the 670 MX side by side. I'm gonna run both tests, 670 MX is overclocked all the way. 1000 megahertz on memory, 135 on the core. Nine seventy mobile is stuck. Around twenty frames per second on the six seventy MX. The 970 cranks out around 35, 40. It's going to be test number two. Test number three. Just under 30 FPS in the jungle on 670 MX. 970 is at 60. Test number four. You can clearly see the advantage of the 970. Runs the test a lot faster already. The last is the frame rate is 27. GTX 670, 12. Now the physics test, 970, 23, 24 and rising, 25, 670 MX just under 22. Next one's the combined test. and the frame rates. While the 670 is just starting the same test. Frame rates are clearly way over double on the 970 mobile. Here are the results. Ninety four hundred fifty five score Let me get some details.
graphics score oh, just over 10,000 physics over 8200 combined 7874 here's GTX 670 MX graphics overall score 4848 graphics score 4648 physics 7239 combined 4140 a little more detailed information about my laptop. So there you go, guys. These are the scores. I'm going to do the 3D Mark 13 next time and the MSI combustor as well. By the way, if anybody's interested in buying this Asus G75VX, it has a modified VRAM so you can overclock the card over the core limit. You just need a voltage mod. I've done it before. Just stopped playing games recently, so I just didn't do it. But if anybody's interested, then the laptop's going to be on Amazon.com for about $1,000. All right, guys. Peace.